hello my wonderful people you are welcome back again to my channel happy sunday to you all yes i'm back again with another video so what i want to talk today i won't talk the matter as it be now what did they happen for nigeria recently now i believe that most of us go don't hear this matter before and i just still want to put matter i want to talk on in case of those one we never really know say something like this they go on for nigeria now about this uh foreign food when they don't ban for nigeria our government say they don't ban many things so may they not enter nigeria again like rice turkey chicken meat and so on and so forth he said all those things no fee enter nigeria again why the reason be say we need to make our economy grow and we have to they used to our own homemade food now so they talk so anything not really be that bad if not so it be if it be say the, that is the take things work out well. If I'm not really that bad. So what I see for this matter when I say I want to talk my mind today and want to see what is today on our mind, what to think about this matter. This food went in one band, making not enter Nigeria again. Normally this thing now common man now it go really affect. Rice no fee enter Nigeria, chicken no fee enter, turkey no fee enter. And if it be say you go Nigeria today and you say you want foreign rice, you want chicken, you want Turkey. Now just snap a finger. Under five minutes you will get them. So what are we saying here? All these things don't enter Nigeria because we won't grow our com economy. Yet all of them still in Nigeria. One thing when this government when it power now they talk, they say the main thing when be their main thing when make them come power now to fight corruption. All those food they don't enter Nigeria yet we they see all of them. They they smuggle them they enter one way or the other. So what are we talking here? What is corruption? Corruption and something when be say they do mango mango or something when he pass back here at enter house when he not go straight the not take something when you not take pass road the normal way when you not do the normal way when you take wuru wuru do let me I believe say it be corruption so if then they fight corruption and then they another way that they fight corruption for one hand and in the other uh, angle the another side that they increase more corruption because you encourage it smuggling is like they, they encourage smuggling different things they still they enter house all the things when they ban all of them will still get them for house so people they bring them day and night and with that one now uh, the things will come be say the price of the thing will come be excess because now small go neither small go and enter house the things they still they but the price will come rise just because government bound down but as government bound down they still they enter house now only to make price inflation and to increase uh, corruption for Nigeria. Now, so me, I see the matter. So, I still remember one time when this day, I still day very, very young. When I still they grow, they come like that for house, they, those those days. Rice, when we they eat for house. Now, most of all those homemade rice, rice, when we say, now we grow and buy ourselves for Nigeria. He get one rice like that, when they call, and now we still remember, he get one rice like that, when they call Abakele K, another one still day, when they call Ekuma rice. Most of all those rice now would they buy that time now would they eat and uh -huh. sometimes uh, if you even buy like two or three cups of rice now two or and uh, now two cup you can see why because one 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 cup na na stone because now so so stone now you need plenty pass <laughs> now you need plenty pass for the rice that time and they hear foreign rice and they hear say this one are foreign foreign now here now until they hear I don't even think say I see that foreign rice for. I one day. Now by the time we come be say that time at the time we be say Nigeria still they better than the way we did now. By the time we come be say now foreign rice and foreign things now can take over now because say most things for Nigeria they know they meet up they, they, you know you know meet up to the demands of the people. That is the things when it did Nigeria, you know they're sufficient for us because Nigeria now one of the largest country when it gets the largest population for the whole of Africa. And secondly again. Everybody knows that now we Nigerians now we be the second largest country when they consume rice for the whole world apart from China. So if Mr. President just wake up all of a sudden in talk say he won't ban rice, he won't ban this, he won't ban that. If if I'm not too day bad, that is if he make provision for the people, what did they go fall on? Then before you just ban these things, you know if you just wake up when all of a sudden and talk say you don't ban this something, okay. If it be say he banned this something, and we know they feel they produce rice and other food stuff when it they enough for the society, you know they know for us. If he talks, say the farmers 
Make them go farm. Make them go. Uh, uh, make them go. They do different, different things so that Nigeria will get uh, different food so that our economy will grow. Yes. If all these people say they say they won't, these farmers they talk say yes they are ready to farm. But you, the government, are you ready to back them up in aspect of security, in aspect of different other things? One farmer, not he just take, uh, uh, not he just carry uh, 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 that is material come up for house now. He just wake up to saying they go farm. Uh, he won't go farm. He won't go do this one. When he be say, if he come out at the end of the day, he not go even see her take on house. If full and he not attack him, different other things go attack him. That one are apart. Security not there. And secondly, we don't get good machineries. That is, we don't get good equipment to take do all those things. If at all say we even get the food when farmers they produce, we don't get good machines when he be say we will come fit do the something. and know how. When they don't bring their food now, machine will come do everything. Everything will come they can't play. Everything will come they normal as people want them. We don't get that machine. And if you don't say we get that machine, we don't get constant light. No be light, no be machine go take the run. We don't get constant light. This one are one of the things when the government is supposed to fix first before they will they talk, say they won't ban this, they won't ban this. Even if you just wake up, say you won't ban this. When you know say, as you they put this something, everybody knows say most of this thing now common man now go affect. Person go hold money for hand, you know, go see something take and buy. As of recent now, I don't hear say they talk say bag of fries for Nigeria is 28,000 naira. 28,000 Christmas they come more, maybe before Christmas reach, you go don't reach 50,000. Can you just imagine that? Eh? Okay, this um, this matter now, when are they address? What do you make me at the address? And as they affect people when they house now, so you see they affect people when they for diaspora. Yes, it affect them one way or the other because if things they hard for Nigeria, now the people when they diaspora here, now then they call. Now people when they here, most of them with the same money, they the same money. Nobody when go talk say in there for uh, uptown here when we say you know the same money every time. They with the same money. So by the time you don't send money now, and that money now, you know if you buy anything, you no go to anywhere, you no reach anywhere. We know how we take they suffer for here. If it be say you be factory worker for here, the um the the amount when they will pay you that is a uh, the maximum amount when they will pay you per hour if you be say you be you they work for here now eight euro and that eight euro before they will pay you eh we both they will make sure say they take you work you will work your ass out you will work so they swear to go they come up for your yans now so they get the money here and by the time when you don't send this money you really go house now you know will come fit buy anything you know get value so if the government they are ready to take care of the things when it day for grant, put everything in orders. Yes, they will feed ban all the foreign food when they enter. What if if they do if they feed provide what in Nigeria and they provide all the things when we need their systemized things, then that things won't have banned. The one won't account they produce with those who are uh, equipment and account they produce something when we say we don't get enough. Other African country, they will come they buy from us. From there now, the economy will grow. But the if you come to a situation whereby you don't get anything when you don't systemize, things are even getting from worse to worse, from hundred to zero. And now you want your cut off any everything all of a sudden. The result now to inflate price, and these things they are still there in Nigeria. They to inflate price and to put the common man for pain and sorrow. It was, it is too bad, it is too horrible like that. Because when I hear this something, this something I still feel bad. I say this is my country and we are part of this country. Whether you did diaspora, you did house, you are still part of it because now we mostly now we they send the money, they go house whether they use for Nigeria. Okay, for instance, some other things there for Nigeria when government supposed banned for 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 some time now whenever to take. I hear say when they uh, they say uh, for shop right supermarket like that you go see frozen food that is food when they don't cook finish now for you to just come house you just microwave them you go eat them things like okbolo a goosey that they import them from China Nigeria fear will let them buy that kind of food they will eat them so things like this you know if you tell me say the government they are not aware of it. This one are the things when they suppose burn things that are toxic when be say now threat to to human health. This one are the things when they will burn. Not be the one when it don't they in existence. When you be say people, even though say you if people now this one be waiting they know now this one waiting waiting they rely on. Even when you burn that they don't get any other alternative. This one are the things when you suppose look. And apart from that one, you get it then when you be say I come across uh, um, a video when they be say rice when they smuggle from another African country they pack and put for a side bomber on that seat PG hole different where rice full everywhere 
when there is small go enter house. So what are we saying here? What are we saying? This is you say you are fighting corruption. Corruption you they increase in one way or the other. Another one still they want to be say this uh, no no this uh, fuel tanker when they carry fuel. Custom can't stop them. That that fuel tanker they think say now fuel now they say as they control they say inside the tanker that is inside the tanker now rice bag of rice now you full inside bag of rice now you full inside. Can you just imagine that? This one a place when you say some twenty they carry fuel, it is smell fuel, uh, different uh, things they want they toss it to human head, they put food for inside just because of government no one making enter and at the end of the day the food they still there for Nigeria. When people eat that kind of thing now, what it open cost for their body? So this uh, ban of a thing, I know where come on because now very wrong idea. Governments when they do this something, they have to take the necessary step first. What they supposed to do, they have to do and make them fix some first. Then before they will talk, say they ban this one, they ban this one. It's affecting the masses and the people are not happy about it because this is this is not this will not be the right way when uh, they say, when gov the, the way way government they run Nigeria. This one are not be the right way. This one are, is a very wrong idea because like Western world, they if you say they want ban something before they ban something, said it will be gradually, gradually. They don't just wake up say. Uh, they won't ban this one, they won't ban that one, and uh, they'll just say they stop them. For instance, now for, for, for Western, uh, that is uh, for Uptown here. You now know, say by 2020, as for next year, 2020, 2021, they know they try to eradicate that is to come out all those cars for road. Maybe say if they use diesel, uh, it don't hold, it get different, you know, some things they want to talk when you go there. If your car don't get the capacity of the things when government say now nah, that kind of thing, now nah, they want for road now, nah, they will come out and for road. That is your car, if they produce too much, uh, too much uh, smoke, it they dangerous to the head of uh, humans. So all those cars now, they won't eliminate all of them come on for road. And the one way they say they use diesel, they say it's not good to human head, they won't come out all, all of them for road. So by this year now, they will come out most of them. And they don't they propose this thing for a very long time. It don't say when they don't they propose this thing. So finally, finally now, they, they give people time to they use to the system because they say they won't put electric car. Now electric car they will come they use now, but before they put the electric car, the ones when they they, they come out they small 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 small. Now so they will do one. Then next two years they will still come out the one when you follow that one. Before you know it, before they will clear all those old cars and cars when they use diesel and different other things. Before they will clear and come be say now only electric car now come there everywhere. You not go even know that is Western world for you. That is there because they are well organized. Nigeria, oh, everything now go now. Military, uh, military regime now with the everything they just talking like that now. So it will just be. Then they come up town here. Then they see the way where they organize things. Why they not they take example? What did they come here come do? They only come come feed their eyes, feel good, feel at home. That they sick, they will come take good treatment because the way they take system mindset that they enjoy. But they no one take example. Go take fix their own so that people when they Nigeria go still enjoy them because of their selfishness. So that is. What you see in a lack of organization because if they organize things well, the thing don't go affect common man. They don't even care. They don't care whether you affect common man, you don't affect common man. This follow right one with the talk. So the people when you put the law, you know what I mean and say if they want it so then I see the same foreign rights, then they eat. Then then they eat. They just put on to just to punish the poor men. So my people, I don't know how now see this matter because some people talk say yes, they're doing well. Our economy need to grow. Uh, people uh, start uh, um, need to start uh, getting used to our own product. But me personally, I don't agree because if they won't do one like that, they will make sure say they make provision with the necessary provision for the people so that the people don't go lack, they don't go suffer. So by the time when they don't eliminate everything, they will don't they used to our homemade and they don't get enough when they will fall back on so now so my people now this one be the topic when i say i won't talk today so i don't know whether you get what you know agree for this matter or you get what you won't see at join now so you are free to leave your comment at the comment section so for now my people i will say bye bye and take care of yourself and again please don't forget to subscribe to this my channel and to give me a thumb up for this video and still hit the notification bell you will see i then near subscription button anytime when i upload new video you go they get message and again i want to use this opportunity to say thank you so much for those one that have been supporting me for those one that have already subscribed and those one when you never subscribe this one the right time for you to subscribe so that you don't feel they miss any of my video so for now i'm out i say ciao ciao